Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks, or Mega Constructs, as they're now called, Mutagen Canisters. That's right. This is a new line that is hitting stores right now as part of the Collector Series that presents us with four brand new minifigures in the Mega Constructs lineup that gives us some very cool renditions of these characters that we can kind of mutate or basically display in alternate ways. Really excited about these and I love the character selections. So as you can see, each of these come individually blister carded, with the blister cards kind of resembling little mutagen canisters, which is so very cool. And what we've got in this lineup is Baxter Stockman, and it looks like, of course, we can transform him from his human form to his fly form. We've got Michelangelo, which we can display normal or in these awesome street clothes with sunglasses. All right. We've got Rocksteady, which like Baxter, we can display in his human form if we want to. And we've got Raphael, complete with trench coat and the creepy human mask that we always saw the turtles wearing in the original cartoon series. Holy cow. Mega Constructs is doing some really awesome stuff here because some of these, like Baxter in his human form or the turtles with the weird human masks, are things I've always wanted to see action figures of and we're getting them in this line. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at them. All right, so we got all of our new Turtles figures outside of their packages, and I've got them all assembled here so we can take a look at them one by one. First things first, I've just got them all up on their displays. So as you can see, the little mutagen canisters that are there represented by the boxes are actually the figure stands for these, and I thought that was really, really cool. Basically, you'll turn the bottom one over, it attaches these green pipe designs to the bottom of the base there, you got a great little manhole cover for this figure stand, and the figure's name is right there across the front. So this will be a great way to display them on your shelf. Now, if you've taken a look at any of my other reviews of some of the past Mega Bloks figure sets, you'll recognize this pipe design. We've seen a lot of these with the Turtles figures so far in this collector series. So it's very similar to that, and they even do come with these little pictures that can just be stuck to the back here as well as little wheels, little uh, clear pieces, pegs. They do come with a lot of these little accessories so you can clip them on however you want to. There's no set way to do this. So as you can see, I kind of staggered the pictures there. You can put it on there however you want to. You can decide not to use the pictures. You can even use these little clamps right here to try to clip them together side by side if that's something you want to do. So it's kind of cool that it comes with all those options there and it actually does create a very nice nice looking display base. So let's go ahead and break these figures down one by one and take a look at everything that comes with them. We're going to go ahead and focus first on Baxter Stockman here. So as you can see right out of the box, I've got him in fly form. Uh, this is pretty much how he comes out of the packaging. One thing I thought was interesting is that in the box, he actually has these cardboard wings on just for display inside the packaging. Once you get them all opened up, he has these much nicer, very sturdy, translucent plastic wings that you'll attach to him instead. So interesting to note, just pull off those and those will just plug right here on his back. As you can see, this plugs uh, directly into the slot on his back and it gives you the extra arms and the little fly wings there. So you can plug those in and and that completes the overall figure. Now the articulation is really nice on the Mega Bloks figures. I like it. The heads are ball jointed so they can look left and right. You got great joints at the shoulders. You got swivels at the elbow and bends at the elbow. You got swivels at the wrist, waist swivels there. The uh, ball joints at the thighs, a lot of the legs to kind of go outwards, but mostly forwards and backwards. And then we do have really nice knee joints there. So the mini figures uh, from Mega Constructs are very, very nice. And I've really, really loved everything that we've seen across the board with the turtles so far because these really are just like little action figures and I love that. So you can see he looks really great in fly form there and of course we do have the little uh, 
little vial that we can put in his hands, a little beaker or what have you, uh, for some of his experiments. But he does come with the extra pieces so we can transform him. We can take him back to human form if we want to. So let's do that here real quick. Basically, it's just a simple parts swap. We can pull the fly head right off the body. And I already showed you guys how we can pull the wings right off his back there. So once we do that, we have this nice soft lab coat here. And we can attach that just by putting it right over his arms, just like so. And then we've got the human head, the very timid looking Baxter Stockman. And now we have our first ever action figure of Baxter in human form based on the way he appeared in that original cartoon series. How amazing is that? I absolutely love it. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can actually leave the, the little uh, lab coat on him and turn him back into fly form because he does have the little hole in the back of the lab coat there so we can attach the wings and you can have a lab coat version as well. But I love this and love the different ways that we can display the character. So next up, let's take a look at Michelangelo. Now, Mikey comes out of the package in the street clothes. It's very, very hip looking street clothes. Uh, let me go ahead and remove the nunchucks from his hands real quick so we could get a good look at the included figure. So you can see very, very cool design. He's wearing like a black leather jacket. You can see he's got the sleeves as part of the sculpt. Look at his shell. First of all, just like we've seen for all the turtles in this collector series, the shell is die cast metal. So there's actually a lot of weight to this little figure and it's a nice heavy shell and I love it. It's like a silver and it's graffitied. It says TMNT, I Heart New York foot stinks. I mean, really, really fun designs. And of course, he's wearing the sunglasses instead of just his standard bandana, which is very cool. And I also love this. Look, there's a tiny little unmutated version of Mikey in there. Little baby turtle, which is so, so very cool. So you can clip that to the base there also if you want to. You can just pop, well... If I can get it on there, I'm just dropping it all over the place. There you go. So very, very fun design. But he also comes with a ton of accessories so that we can transform him in just a regular looking Michelangelo. So let's give that a shot. With him, we're actually going to swap the arms out. So you can see the arms are on pegs. We can pop them right out of socket. And then we should be able to remove this jacket. Look at that. The shell pops right off of his back. Pop that back on there. We kind of got a more normal looking turtle design. And we have the sleeveless arms that we can then plug in place. And of course, since he's wearing tennis shoes, well, that means we also have interchangeable feet. This is crazy. I love all of the different design we have going on here. One thing we might want to do also before putting on the new feet is we do have his belt. So let's go ahead and see if we can slide that up here. It is made of a softer, pliable material. You can see it's kind of like that rubbery material. So we can get that. We got to put it over the shell. That's actually the tricky part here. There we go. So now we just have standard turtle feet that we could just pop in, just little peg holes there. Make sure we put them on the, it looks like I put that one on backwards. <laughs> Definitely want to make sure we're paying attention to left foot, right foot. You can kind of tell uh, by the curves on the feet there. Uh, we do have little orange wrist bracers to put on his hands as well, as well as the elbow pad. So this is really, really crazy. In fact, it might be better, I'm thinking. I'm going to pop the arm off. And we're going to slide these on before we pop the arms and suck. That actually worked out very, very well. So that's definitely the trick. Put those on before you actually put the arms on the figure itself. Get these little elbow pads actually over the elbows there. And then we'll just go ahead and pop the head back on. But we're going to pop off these sunglasses. Ah, look at those eyes! <laughs> and then we'll put on the mask. And the mask is a harder plastic. So that actually should be a little bit easier to put on because it's a little bit more sturdy. I think I got it upside down because we definitely want the eye pieces to be facing up like that. There we go. Boom. And now we've got a much more standard looking Michelangelo figure aside from the crazy shell there. And of course, as I showed you when I first pulled him off the stand, he does come with a pair of nunchucks with actual little chains between them, which is always very cool. I love that. So there you go. Now we've transformed him into a standard Michelangelo. It's of course not as fun as the one wearing the street clothes. I prefer that, but I love the ability to swap out those parts and it works really well. So next in line, we're going to take a look at Rocksteady here. Uh, which is a very, very cool looking 
figure. I love the design of this one. A little more simplistic. He's not wearing a jacket or anything. He's just got the yellow sleeveless shirt there. Uh, great head sculpt and everything. I uh, just love the overall design of this guy. Look, I love the little turtle shell off the side. He's got a grenade over here. Uh, this is really fun because he's got a machete that's strapped to him that you can take off. It's got this um, nice kind of stretchy string-like material. So you can pull that right off the blade if you want to. And you can put the little machete weapon in his hand and he can use that. Uh, but of course, what makes this guy so fun is that he comes with interchangeable pieces so we can unmutate him. So we can turn him back to human form. So much like we just did with Mikey, we're going to pop the arms out of socket. And I'm actually also going to go ahead and pull the head off. And we're going to remove the little uh, bullet straps there as well. Uh, looks like we can also pop off the shell and everything off the side. Does that pop off? Does the shell come off? Uh, yes, it does. So we can pop that off as well if we want to. That does seem a little bit more rock steady, you know, mutated rock steady to have that on there. So uh, the red vest is that softer material, so it goes right over the body there. Then we can just pop these human arms in the socket just like that. Oh, popped his hand out by accident. Get that put back in there. And then we've got the human head. And he also comes with a bag of money since he's just a common criminal now. And look at that. Now we've got a really awesome human form of Rocksteady that we can also display on the shelf. This is awesome. I absolutely love it. And lastly, which might quite possibly be my favorite in this bunch, is Raphael in his street clothes. Disguised Raphael. We saw this all the time in the original cartoon series. Uh, they often wore these uh, trench coats and these really, really terrible looking rubber masks over their faces to try to blend in with the humans. It's so creepy and I love it. I've always wanted this in action figure form. We never really, we've had trench coat turtles before, but never the rubber mask. And look at this. It's actually a soft mask that fits over his face. How cool is that? So we can actually pop that off. It pulls on just just like you would see it in the show. And look at that. Look at Raph <laughs> without his bandana or anything. I think that is hilarious. I love it. You'll also notice uh, one of the items that he's holding on to here is a turtle com. So that's a really fun accessory. Also, just like with Mikey, he has a little baby turtle of himself, a little unmutated turtle. So that's a fun little inclusion as well. But if you want to switch him up, you want to get him out of these street clothes, uh, we can transform him just like we saw with Mikey. Pull these arms out of socket here. We'll uh, pull the trench coat off. It actually comes off of his shell. Uh, unlike Mikey with the crazy graffiti shell, Raph's is normal, but it is still that cool die-cast metal, which is really, really neat. And uh, then we can go ahead and put on all of his accessories, like his belt and everything here. So let me get all that attached. So just like we saw with Mikey, we'll have to put on all of the little uh, the elbow pads, the wrist wraps, all that fun stuff. It definitely uh, works a lot easier if you can get it all attached before you pop the arms in socket. And then we've got his red bandana, which we're going to pop right over his eyes like that. Oh, look at that. Now we've got ourselves a normal Raphael. We can put his signature psi weapons in his hands, and he is ready to fight the foot. So very, very cool figure here. So there you guys go. There is a look at the brand new Mutagen Canister minifigure lineup, part of the Mega Constructs line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. These are a lot of fun. They're really great minifigures. I've been a big fan of the minis and the Turtles line so far, and the fact that we can interchange parts to kind of mix and match these characters, especially the fun unmutated forms of Baxter and Rocksteady, I think these are great little toys. They're very, very well done. They come with awesome accessories and they're going to fit right in with the rest of the awesome minifigures that have come out in the Mega Blocks and Mega Constructs line so far. So these are starting to hit store shelves right now. I found mine at Toys R Us. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Feel free to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Turtles reviews. Until next time, my friends.